<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think this is going to be quite a rather long video. Um, and I think I just want to get a lot of things off my chest as far as flesh and blood goes and future content. Um, I think this like really boils down to that I really want to change up my whole persona as far as like the content that I make in the future goes. Um, and I think this is mainly because how burnt out be of the whole uh, competitive meta of flesh and blood. Um, I think I, th I think it's better to start off with a small bit of why and then explaining the larger bit. So, your boy's been playing Reinar since literally day one. First content creator of Flesh and Blood. And fell in love with this game and it, it has a lot of comparisons compared to like, let's say like, like Hearthstone. You know, you choose your hero um, and you, you, you get certain cards and class cards to each deck right um and from what it looked like it seemed like a very fair game um everyone got their certain cards especially from set one everything felt really good um and then i think it was like arc came out everything i feel like started to go down a lot um and this was mainly because like mechanologist so as far as the whole competitive side for Flesh and Blood goes, for the future, I won't be playing Reiner. And, like, it, like it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal to me, right? Like, that, I, I feel like I built half my content around just playing Reiner. And the thing is, it feels disingenuous to upload Reiner content when I could be telling people to play certain heroes... And like new players, like like other heroes that will get them somewhere in the game and not let them get frustrated to the point that I have. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what it really boils down to is that, in a way, I feel like I have a burden on my back. You know, big Reiner God guy, Reiner day one, um, and I it feels like if I make content for this, then I support playing a bad class which isn't bad but this is a growing game the amount of amount of new players that i try to get into this game and then just get like caught out by like one deck which which is happens every set and for them to like lose interest to the game or like like they hate the game because of that i can't make the same content that i can every day like i've put myself into this situation I put myself here on purpose. Like, I always wanted to feel like I had a target on my back. I always try and, like, question things and all that. And I, I just can't do it anymore. Um, I want to, but the thing is, uh, like, I don't get support from LSS anymore. Like, you know, to be fair. But it, it, it would be really cool if I did get a... a um, uh, an announcement card or something along the lines of that or I don't know um but yeah so that's that, that that's what the whole video is about and I think I'm gonna break down each point so I'm gonna start with the competitive side of flesh and blood ever since welcome to wrath it's been fine um you know no, no sorry it hasn't been fine no, <laughs> Welcome to Wrath was fine, and then after that, everything went downhill. To me, personally, I didn't see this as a proper, like, current day TCG, like, you know, how you have, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, how you have uh, Magic the Gathering, Dragon Ball Super, and all that, where every set, they'll bring out, like, a new broken deck, or a new broken hero. I never saw it that way. And if you see it that way, I really, really think you need to start seeing it in a different light. 
if you want to play competitively, every set, there will be a broken hero, regardless, that will interact differently to what is already in the game. We can look at this as my first example as Dash. Dash was a hero that was uncheckable, literally uncheckable during, um, what's it called? During Arcane Rising, and then got a massive support during Crucible of War. Massive support, where it was literally unplayable to play. And I personally stopped playing com uh, 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 competitive, uh, classic constructed during that time, which is when I fell in love with Blitz, because it felt like you could play basically any hero. And we all know what happened after uh, Monarch. Chain happened. You know, a second Runeblade hero. Out of the... Th out of the... One of four... Those four heroes are extremely amazing heroes. But it's clearly certain... Like, out of, out of Monarch. But it's clearly certain... I'm certain that LSS does not test for classic, classic Constructed. They don't. They test for Limited, they test for Sealed, and then they go around their own curve of, like, the card curve. Like, you know, uh, the easiest example is Wounded Bull. Uh, you know, in yellow, it blocks for three, it swings for three, uh, it pitches for yellow. And, like, the red and going back and forth and all that. It costs zero to attack. And... It's, it's at this point where you have a lot of heroes that go outside of the, the standard uh, like card creation thematics. Like, I'm, I'm still coming on the side of... I thought this was a very unique game where it was like... like I keep saying, like Hearthstone. You, every, you have a hero, like, every set. And you pick your hero, and you choose that hero, and you play that hero as much as possible, and you can kind of, like, play the game with that one hero. But Flesh and Blood uh, is just like any other TCG. Literally like any other TCG. Uh, and that's wrong on my behalf. Like, I, I shouldn't have been seeing it in that light, and I think that's why I feel so... So much hatred towards certain classes and certain cards and certain game styles. Um, and for the future, I won't be looking at like that anymore because it's not. Um, yeah, so the chain format. Uh, we can see that there was a big issue with chain, extremely big issue. But on top of that, also Prism was it. I, I want to say Prism is kind of an issue, slightly an issue. Uh, Bolton has his things that it wants to do. And then we look at a hero like Leviah, which is unplayable. It, it's a good aggro hero, but... It, 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 your boy's been trying for years. Well, like for a year, trying to make that hero work. It, it doesn't work. It's good. And I like I like I have a deck profile for it that's going to come out soon. It's good, but it's not competitive, and I think it's wrong to try and get players to play a hero that's not going to get them anywhere in the game at all. Um. So, yeah. And then, um. With the new release of Tales of Aria, three heroes come out. Um, three really cool heroes. They all th seem really cool thematically and all that, you know, the whole elements and all that. But uh, it's apparent that, of course, LSS didn't test this set as well. Uh, like, just look at Duskblade. Uh, <laughs> and now the whole cheer is Briar List. Now... If you think that that hero, like, on its own is fine, you're wrong. Uh, any hero that is able to go outside of the the current, uh, like the current card curve, being able to block with a non-attack action that usually blocks for two for six, is completely ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. 
it's un. If you want to counter that deck, you can't play the deck you play, and then go on to. You can't play the deck that you want to play. You have to play a different hero with a certain play style to counter that hero. And uh, it's almost, almost, you have to be extre- you have to be an extremely good, extremely good player, extremely lucky to not, uh, to be able to beat that deck without, or like any deck, any deck that, 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 that comes out on top. You have to be extremely good. You have to be extremely powerful. Like uh, you have to know everything about your hero to beat the best deck at the time. And at this point, it's like why, why, why support something else? Like why, why support something that doesn't work? I like, I, I, I want to, but it feels disingenuous. It's hard to do. And it only just ends up making me angry personally. Like, 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 Seeds of Agony, it, it, <laughs> uh, uh, Duskblade, uh, S- Spellbound Creepers. I know everyone's like, oh, just wait for the next set. The next set will fix everything. Well, we've been saying that ever since Arcane Rising. We have. Wait, just wait till, uh, uh, Crucible War comes out. Just wait till Monarch comes out. Just wait till Tales of Aria comes out. Just wait till the ban list. And, like, with... with the, you saw the numbers. The deck got th- at 76 tops. And the, de- the deck below that was Bravo with 16 tops. I, like, it, I can't support... If, like, I, I want to get new players into the game, but I can't tell them to play a bad hero because they're going to have a bad experience. Which is my fault because I want... You know, I, I, I saw it in a different light. Like, I, I really did. Like, I, I thought this was, like... I'll say again, like Hearthstone. You pick your hero and you, you play with that, that deck, in my opinion. But if you want to be the best, you have to play the meta, and you have to pl- play a hero that will ca- either counter the meta, which is extremely hard, because, like, they don't give us a lot of tools to beat these decks. They really don't. Yeah. Like. And I think this just stems a lot why I get so frustrated and... You know, like, I don't want to be negative anymore. I really don't. I, w- I, want, I want 2022 to be a really good year for Yazi, for, for the Yazi channel, where I'd, I'd make good videos and, you know, I try and support players by telling them what heroes to play rather than what heroes, like, like rather than telling them a bad deck to play. I don't know. Like I, I feel like personally, personally I feel like I'm I'm the only content creator that really questions things and kind of does it all. Like oh, no, I'm talking at me ass. I I feel unique, and I want to stay unique. I don't want to sign to a label. I don't want to. I don't. I, I don't want any of my the content that I make to be scrutinized by a company or scrutinized by someone else, and. I can't make the content that I want, I think. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I want to make the content that I want to make. But, like... It's... It, <laughs> I just want to... You know, it's been a while since, you know, we've seen Yazi at the top tables, at the top, top tables. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I know I'm a good player. I can play Runeblade. I, I can play Runeblade. You want to see me play Runeblade? I'll play Runeblade. Like, it, is, if, if that's what LSS really wants, I'll play that. I'll play Chain. I'll play Chain. I'll play Chain. And you'll see me at top 8 every single event. I promise you. So... 
so yeah, for for future content, I'm going to be focusing more on not what I feel like I want or like, you know, a- attacking companies, attacking stores, because the, the amount of things that LSS has done that that's completely pissed me off. Like the whole Rudy situation. That that's a fucking joke. The cunt fucking burnt the rest of his collection of the cards. That could get given it to stores. During COVID, we have stores down here that are complaining that, like, like, like charging $30 entry for a fucking uh, skirmish event and then giving no prizes outside the, the, the kit. But they'll give, they'll give an investor, which is the worst thing you can do to a card game. Give an investor... A, 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 a free pass. Like, like, come the fuck on. Like, we, we, we don't. If you want, a good game isn't carried by, by investors. A good game is carried by a good game. You want examples? You make zero dollars from playing Hearthstone. You can if you sell accounts, but you're not allowed to do that. Like, League of Legends... Uh, a Dota, I, I, you play those for fun, right? You play those for fun. You don't need to invest into anything there. Like, and they just gave this guy free exposure and then ruined the entire market. Like, ruined. Like, I'm getting everything off my chest. So I don't have to ever do it ever again. Because I don't want to. I want. I want to be positive for the future. I want to make creative videos. I want to. F- I want to. Uh, uh, like. <laughs> Like, I can still do it. I know I can. Like, I, I can still make a creative video with, with the meta being bad. Like, like as far as, like, you know, the heroes being bad. But... I'm, I'm just setting up a new player to fail. I am. And I've lost too many mates that want to play this game. Because I'm like, here's Bolton, here's Levia, here's Prism, here's Kano. Like that, it's not that card game. It's you play the best, or you play the deck that beats the best. And and you, we we can argue about this all day. We literally can. Like I, I'd be fine to, but that's what it is. You can't play your, your your Azalea and get top eight. You you can't play uh, uh, Kano and get top eight every event. It's not that game. I wish it was. That's what I was hoping. That that's what I was hoping. But it's not. I can't play Rhino every single event and win. I know. Poor me. Poor me. Poor poor me. Poor me. But that's that's how the the game felt like it was pitched to us or to me. Not not to everyone. Not putting everyone in the same boat. That's, that's how it felt like it was pitched. And, you know, like... Of course the game will get better. Of course. Of course. But the lack of... The, the lack of... The lack of my side as firing as being able to kind of tell. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a player. I, I play the game. And, you know, I, I, I try to create content that I like. I, I, you see where I live, bro. <laughs> but I can't, I can't keep being negative. And I don't want to. It's extremely hard not to be negative, but I can't anymore. I'm not calling out any, any more companies. No more Channel Fireball. No more Rudy. No more... Uh, LSS doing wrong things. No more banned, like, cards that should be banned. 
like unless unless it's it's a good video for it right but like it's impo- it, it's impossible to keep up to that level and stay positive about the game especially when you you can't play what you want you just have to play the best deck which is runeblade just just play runeblade for now like it was dash I just, I just want to be acknowledged for making good content again. You know, my Medex video, that, that was amazing. It was like one of my favorite videos. That, that spontaneously happened. They just came out of nowhere. I just was like, let's record this. Or like, you know, my old deck profiles where I went out and did, did stuff like that. I want to do that stuff again. I don't want to be negative anymore. And, and I don't want... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's the video. Peace.